Welcome back, guys, to Jared the Journeyman. Um, tonight, we're going to go over another 10 questions that will may or may not be on your journeyman's test, but have been seen quite a few times. I go to quite a few questions um, asked about these. So here are some of them that I have been asked about. Also, when we're going through these, um, go ahead and get your code book out and highlight these um, article references and get to know where they're at. Also, if you're getting something out of this, give me a like and hit the notification bell because I'm gonna be putting out quite a few of these and um, hit a subscribe too. Do me a solid on that, I appreciate that. And let me get to sharing you guys the screen. And here we go, video number two and 10 questions let me move me out of the way uh what is the maximum rating for the separate overload protection of a seven and a half horsepower motor with a nameplate rating of 36.4 amps and marked with a service factor of 1.15 guys remember your overloads are not your overcurrent protection your overloads are your heaters your overloads are always your heaters and um, you'll always use your, you'll take this right here, I'm sorry, your 36.4, and there is a factor because they're, they, um, they're telling you 1.5. So what we do is we go to uh, NEC 30.32A1, take and look in that chart, and it says if, if there's a, uh, a service factor marked on the nameplate of 1.15 or greater, I believe it is, you multiply your FLC, um, I'm sorry, your FLA by 1.25 1, 1 or 125%. So 36 amps times 125% is 4, 45.5 amps. So your answer would be 45.5 amps. Remember that's in 430.32A1. Next one, class one power limited circuits shall be supplied from a source that has a rated output, not more than blank, 30 volts. You'll find that back in the back in 725.41A. Next one, the most common nominal cell voltage for alkali type battery is blank per cell, 1.2 volts, and that's in 480.2 informational note. Let's go over another one. A fuse or overcurrent trip unit of a circuit breaker shall be connected in blank with each blank conductor. Guys, this is, this is a common question, a very common question here. So it should be connected in series and it should be connected to the ungrounded conductor. So series and ungrounded, because if it was parallel, then remember your voltage could go around series. It has to stop right there. All right, the works, workspace about electrical uh, electrical switch gear shall be clear and extended from the grade floor or platform to the height of blank or the height of the equipment, whichever is greater. So they're asking for the height of the workspace and that's six and a half feet. NEC 11026A3. So make sure you guys are highlighting those. One uh 11026A3. If I'm going too fast, stop the video and uh make sure you get this information down. All right, when multiple ground rods, pipe, or plate grounding electrodes are installed, they must be spaced not less than blank apart. That is six feet, 250.53A3. Electro non-metallic tubing shall be allowed within spaces of a church with a finished rating. If the raceway is installed, concealed within the walls, floors, and ceiling that provide a thermal barrier of material that has at least blank finish rating. All right, guys. So first off, you may think, oh, I'm, we're talking about Smurf tubing up here, which we are. Don't go flip into Smurf tubing. Go back to 518 which is places of assembly, 
So those are churches, and you'll find the answer, 15-minute uh, finish rating, so a fire rating of 15 minutes, 515-4C1. So a quick way to remember kind of hospitals and churches, um, your um, hospitals are 517, and your churches are 518. My morbid mind goes, well, you end up in the hospital. And next thing you know, you're in the church because you're they're having your ceremony because you're dead. So 517 first and then 518. So that may help you out. If not, have fun with it. Next one. What is the appropriate approximate area of 750 KC mil THWN conductors? So the appropriate area is 1.04. Nine six chapter nine table five chapter nine table five remember that table has the the sizes on the left hand side and then you just work your way I think it's the third column in it gives you the actual area all right brand circuit conductors installed within blank of the ballast shall have an insulation temperature not rated lower than ninety degrees Celsius so they're looking for a a distance, three inches, and that's in 410.68, so not within three inches. Next one, what is the maximum rating allowed for overcurrent protective device for an appliance rated 12.2 amps? If the overcurrent protection rating is not is not marked, not no marked, not marked on the appliance, 20 amps, maximum uh, uh, over allowed overcurrent protection is 20 amps. That's in 422.11C2. Make sure you guys are highlighting those. Guys, that was 10 questions that are commonly seen on the journeyman's test. If you guys need some more help with that, I do have a private Facebook group called The Grid. Um, there is a QR code on your screen right now. You can click on that. And what that is, that's a private Facebook group that um, guys getting ready for their journeyman's test, studying up, join. It's an open forum. It's not the typical forum where you go in there, ask a question, and then a bunch of retards come in and start bombing you with, with well, this and that and that and that. No, 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 no. We're here to help you. I'm here to help you. And we can help you out. I. That's why I opened this group. I got so tired of 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 seeing that happen guys trying to expand themselves and improve on their testing and they just get pretty much shit on so um if you guys are interested in that there's a qr code down below and give us a shot so that's all i have for today and and you guys be safe out there and i'll catch you next time